Yo, we have Coinbase listing yet again another new altcoin. Coinbase is allowing other parts of the world to trade multiple altcoins. That right there will help liquidity a little bit. We also want to take a look at the BTC, all our good stuff, and some very bullish on-chain data. So without further ado, guys, smack the like button and smack the subscribe button. The current price action of Bitcoin right here, 37 and some change. As we can see, guys, I've talked about this before. You know, this could end up just being, this is a, you know, a dough bottom here, local right there. Or we end up making a lower low, which means we're going to come right back down. Possibly rebound up here. My uh, my only cat, like, caveat with the rebound, if we would see a bounce like that, is I personally want to see a nice V-shaped recovery. Just like here back in July 2021, back in October 2021. So that's something we're going to want to see. If it's not a fast recovery, just crazy, you know, just going ham where you just see Bitcoin going green, 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 and green after day, 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 going nuts. Then guess what, guys? We're probably going to trade sideways and probably see some further price action to the downside, something like that. So that's not something, like something we'll probably see. Who knows? Maybe we'll, we'll bottom down here around 34K or maybe we'll end up seeing the lows back here of July 2021. It's definitely a possibility. Just watch out for that. I do want to stress that if we do see Bitcoin come down to like that 34 region, that's a 7% move to the downside. That means all coins will probably jump 30, 40%. And if we do see Bitcoin fall down to around that $30,000 region, which is about a 20% move to the downside for Bitcoin. So expect at a minimum 50, 60, 70, some will be more percent to the downside if that would happen. Guys, I'm not saying this is gonna happen. I just don't want you to be blindsided and not even know, like be like, well, I didn't even know. That's what happens with what, like when Bitcoin dumps. But we do have some bullish news to look at that towards the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Before we get into the good old new Coinbase listings and the new coins on different areas of the world, I just have a little moment from our sponsor. Yo, what's up, homies? Want to introduce you to the newest sponsor of the channel, I Trust Capital. Um, if you're not aware of what I Trust Capital is, they allow their clients to invest in crypto through an individual retirement account, or AKA IRA. Guys, if you're not aware, IRAs are a tax sheltered account, which means all of your crypto trading is tax free. Yes, Becky, you heard that right, tax free, and it can even grow tax free over time. The process to sign up is super, super simple. You hit, like you hit login, no, you hit sign in, you go over here, you create an account, all that juicy stuff, leads you right into the funding, put all your information and you're done. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. You can, of course, with an IRA, if you're under 50, deposit $6,000 max a year. So you can take advantage of that, like that cap right there. Just wanna point out real quick, guys, they have no hidden fees. There is no monthly fee. Crypto like fees are 1%. You can also get your gold and silver if you're into that. And guys, custody, it's custody by Coinbase Custody. They have institutional storage, so your crypto is protected. And they also have a boatload of all coins has 25 different assets across the board. They just recently listed Axie Infinity and more to come. So definitely consider hitting up the link down below. If you open an account with my link down there and fund it, you will get a $100 funding bonus added to your account. So cl like, click that link to learn more. Alrighty guys, so on to the good old Coinbase coin. Right here guys, my neighborhood Alice is gonna be listing on Coinbase Pro. As we can see, it says, you know, inbound transfers for my neighbor Alice, like, which is wonderful. I know a lot of people talked about this. I think it was either March, April, May of, of last year. A lot of people were very excited about this coin. So you guys, now you can, you know, once it's fully listed, once full liquidity hits on Pro Coinbase and Coinbase.com, you'll be able to buy it there. So if you do want to check it out before you can buy it there, um, what, like we'll see here on CoinMarketCap, um, you can get it on Binance, KuCoin, um, probably just get Binance, KuCoin, or Gate.io. That's probably your best liquidity. But I do want to point some things out, though. We do see the market cap right here is $220 million here on CoinMarketCap. And then we see it's $125 million on CoinGecko. So just look, there is a little bit of differences. Don't really know what's going on there. You guys make your own judgment on that. I'll tell you what, I, I always go on the side of caution with the one that's a little higher. Just a little FYI. But of course, we go the last, uh, the last seven days, if I can talk here. We, of course, have been going down, but there is a rally today because of the Coinbase listing. Just watch out for that. It's probably a failed sucker's rally. So if you're holding a bag, it might be time to get out and may, may have created some exit liquidity. It really, really depends on what you think is going to happen with Bitcoin. Is Bitcoin reversing or is Bitcoin going back down? You guys, you have to make that decision on your own. So that right there is that. That's the new coin. Also wanted to point out a bunch of these new coins. I'm sorry, not new coins. A bunch of altcoins are now being available for German residents. We scroll down here. Um, Singapore allowed a bunch of coins as well. And the UK, they got lucky and now two more coins are now available for them to trade. So just keep that in mind. That's cool. That's that's allowing more liquidity to more homies out there. So just keep keep, keep that in mind. It's pretty decent. 
Um, so I do want to point out, though, the good old bullish news on um, the on-chain data. We talked about this on last night's live stream, but in case you, like, you missed like, the live stream, uh, I want to go over Will Clemente's his dry powder ratio. So I just want to tell you like what this thing is, guys. As he says like himself, he says, comparing the amount of stable coins on exchanges relative to Bitcoins of market cap gives what I'm calling the dry powder ratio. Is it currently at an all-time high? This shows there's a lot of dry powder ready to be deployed. So dry powder meaning stables, meaning basically crypto that's in stable coins, which is basically fiat, and which would say there's a lot of buying power re like ready to go. I want to show you guys, let's get rid of my face for a second, that as we can see here in July 2021, it was the purple line, which is the dry powder ratio, was pretty much at all time high. Price action, like at all time low there for the cycle. Now you can see it, the same thing happened here in uh, in October. It did rally up and the price action was down. And look what's happening right now. Price action of Bitcoin is rallying down. Dry powder ratio is rallying up. So that right there is, you know, one would say, yeah, it's looking kind of bullish. Let's go down and zoom out. He has a nice chart right here. So once again, guys, as you guys can see, Back here in the Rona times, I really want to point this out and harp on this, guys. Back here in the Rona times, the massive, massive dump. But you've seen it spiked up. The amount of, of stables spiked up insane, okay? And then throughout time, you see the dry powder ratio slowly declined. Price action of Bitcoin slowly inclined. So we're seeing some nice divergence right there. And then after a while, once like and you guys can see that, like I mentioned earlier, but this is when we're zoomed out. Back here in July 2021, I mean, wow, did that dry powder ratio just skyrocket as Bitcoin price action just dumped. And well, what happened? A massive rally. I think it was like 10 days straight of green. So, I mean, maybe, eh, maybe we're working on our next, you know, dry powder surge where we have a lot of it to where it causes a spike in the price. Only time will tell, but that is something to keep in mind. Um, there are a few other on-chain bullish things that I do want to go over on tonight's live stream. We are live Monday to Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern time. So you guys definitely tune in then. And if you can't, you know, they're in the past live stream playlist. So you guys can watch them at, like afterwards as well. Put on twice the speed or 1.5 because some people say I talk a little fast. So that that right there is that. But it's really coming down to you guys. Of course, new Coinbase coin, awesome. You, you probably missed the pump, so don't let I would not phone one if I were you. But that like that's my humble opinion. What it's coming down though is what do you believe is going to happen? Look like look at the data yourself, make your own assessment, and then make your own judgment, and then do what you have to do and go from there. So do you think we're gonna rally up? You think we're going down? What is your take on that? Um, and, and go from there. Don't just believe a silly dude on the internet. To, like just because one guy said, "Oh, I think this is going to happen," just because I said, "Oh, this dry powder ratio is very bullish." Guys, we've seen this on-chain data. It's it looks very well, but we end up still seeing further price action to the downside before it reverses. So just keep that in mind. That, like this isn't like a one be all. This is like the golden rule. You have to follow this. There's a, no such thing like that. So just keep that in mind. That is what's going on there. And uh, just base at the end of the day, make your own decisions, and then you have to pivot from what like whatever happens, guys. The, the, like the market makers will do whatever the market makers want to do. But that's what I got for tonight, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern time. You guys know how it goes around here. Smack those likes, smack the subscribe button, and uh, may the gains be with you.